What's the most Rama red card here? Is it Mana Vault? It's, it's probably Mana Vault. We can play a 3 drop on turn 2 off that. Mono Red Oko. People used to splash Oko in Mono Red. <laughs> in like modern. You wish Tanglewire was in the cube again? Let your, let your voice be known. In their most recent article, they asked for feedback. And they're literally talking about bringing back Tanglewire and um, Smokestack and stuff. So if you're like, yo, I'd like to see those cards, it literally becomes more likely that they do that. <laughs> but it might not be as fun as whining about it here in my chat. So, you know, which, whatever. Whatever you're feeling. I'm going to take this here Chrome Mox here. That Chain Lightning's juicy, but I really... The three drops are so good. I really want to play those cards sooner, sooner rather than later. I'm going to draft a Karn. We have a Karn start. I'm going to draft some red cards soon. <laughs> but we might be doing red aggro. Red artifact aggro, rather. I wonder if Bullmat Courier becomes more interesting with a Karn here. Balance? <laughs> no, come on. Come on. If you think that I'm going to draft balance there, you have grossly misread the stream title. Not that kind of stream, exactly. This red's awfully brown. Yeah, we're just starting out. We're just revving up the engine. Y'all are, like, very concerned about things that you should not be concerned about. Like, how many awesome cards we're going to have to imprint on Chrome Mox. It's going to be a lot. Look at this. Everyone, the, the main issue, the main issue with most people with drafting is that most people are cowards. And if you want to get better at cube draft, invert it. Mm, don't be most people. Hammerback Walker is pretty piddly. I'll pretty much only want this if I get Skull Clamp later. It's good to sack to gut, though. Uh oh. Well, hopefully the red cards didn't all dry up. Yeah, some are better than others, though. Can sign. But you're not wrong. It's kind of the Skull Clamp thing, right? It's not really a bad thing. But some are better than others. I think there was a cheaper red card in that pack. However, I'm actually fine with this uh, this Inferno Titan. Remember that was the pack that we pack one, pick one, Mana Vault out of? Oh, we can just cast an Inferno Titan, right? We can cast a turn two here. Probably fast enough. The mono red deck from last night? Oh, that deck trophied. That deck trophied in like half an hour, and I was like, alright, just, <laughs> I'm just going to jam this all day. Red things do go faster. I like scrap work, but uh, we do want some red cards in here. The old chrome mox and stuff. Hell yeah. All right, all right. I got a question for y'all. Who would win in a fight? Your average Magic player or a professionally trained MMA fighter? Ooh, Chandra. <laughs> is it a brain fight? It is not. It is a fist fight. Typical uh, MMA rules. So really, the MMA fighter's home turf here. Does the MMA fighter have time to prepare? Oh yeah, all the time to prepare in the world. Oh, let's fucking blast a Wheel of Fortune. How good is the ref? Average professional MMA fighter ref. You think the Magic player? Is the MMA fighter also Bruce Wayne? Yes. And not old Bruce Wayne, like... Just got done learning fucking ninja skills from Ra's al Ghul, Bruce Wayne. Peak ninja Bruce Wayne right here. I guess I'll draft a Soulscar Mage. 
Is the magic player also an MMA fighter? No, your average magic player. So maybe like a tech support person or a programmer or a um, lawyer or something. Is the magic player's mom there? Oh yeah, whole family's in the crowd watching. Is the MMA fighter's mom there? No, the MMA fighter's uh, mother has gotten bored with all this long string of victories. After like the 30th win in a row, she just decided to say stay home. He's due for a loss? Yeah, that's probably right. Oh shit, what up? Is that an aspiring Spike sub? Thanks for the 24 month Spike. It depends on how angry the Magic player is about the modern ban list. Oh, interesting. I think the average Magic player is extremely mad about the, the modern ban list. I think that's a core part of uh, Magic player's identity, right? We've had some sick OYR decks today. With Gobble Bombardment and stuff. I don't think this is that kind of deck, though. Oh, uh, congrats on the um, RCQ qualification, Spike. Very cool. I'm gonna get to see you in Dallas. I think I want Oyer just because it's a fucking four mana four four. I'm gonna throw it in here. I've been really impressed with Monstrous Rage and Reckless Charge. Is there a reason one would be better than the other here? I guess Reckless Charge, you could like bend a Wheel of Fortune and get value later. Earlier today, I had a mono red deck that was splashing show and tell, and we show and told in a 13 mana Emrakul and then Reckless Charged it, and it was incredible. Oh shit, what up? Hey, the Dr. Dave, thanks for the sob, these are 21 months. Yeah, I'm gonna grab Rage. Oh, there's Bombardment again. Bombardment again for the OU. Yeah, Lava Dart's the other one that like, is kind of nutty with Oye. I don't think we're a Basalt Monolith deck. Maybe we are. Ruwal is funny with Wheel of Fortune. Do we want good or funny? What are we, what are we looking for? We have an Inferno Titan to cast here. Give me the wall on. Give me the fucking. Give me that fucking thing. Magic players have unironically talked themselves into picking the magic player over <laughs> over the MMA fighter. <laughs> oh, you're in standards fun with War Leader's Call? I believe it. So you could like curve them too, right? The oh, you're comes into play abilities already dealing four. It's pretty sick. Wheel is dangerous. You don't play it. I mean, you're you're probably not drafting Blazing Root Wall as often as I am. Inti, hell yeah. I don't hate one ring, but I'm gonna take Inti here. Inti Wheel of Fortune's hilarious. Inti Wheel of Fortune, man. Inti LED, huh? Getting LED up in this. Dueling violin solos. Yeah, right. Inti's nuts. Inti's fucking nuts. I gotta play that card more often in Constructed. Pyromancer's kinda cute with the Goblin Bombardment. And indeed for that matter. I think we can cut this FTK. I think we'll be able to cut the FTK. The Hangerback gets a little bit better with the Bombardment in. It's still a little piddly. I guess Inti can give it 1-1 counters. Maybe that's, maybe that's enough. Zealous Conscripts, Gobble Bombardment, huh? Combo? We can turn our 5-mana 3-3 three, three into a fucking glorified Chupacabra? Let's listen to something a little bit more obscure. Y'all have, have never heard this song. Clamp? We clamping? I think we're clamping. Your local radio station plays this every Sunday morning. Amazing. Fantastic. Time for a scotch? Yeah, I'll choose to that. Hell yeah. 
the staggers and jags. Tag yourself. Are you a stagger or a jag? I might be cutting Inferno Titan. They sound like slurs. They do. I assume it's things to do with cooking, but I don't actually know. Oh shit, I was way wrong. Staggers and jags are the physical symptoms of prolonged alcohol poisoning. Nam namely, uncontrollable shaking or trembling, coupled to hallucinations. And the scuppers part of the verse refers to a part of the ship. Is Kiki Zealous a combo? It is, yeah. But I don't want a 5 mana 2 2 in my aggro deck. Never works out for me. You really want your five five drops to be good on their own. The two red boast creature? Are you talking about broadside bombardiers? I don't think so. That delivery. Bowl of eggs. Never heard anybody say bowl of eggs like that. Only the one, only the legend. I need like a cut here, huh? I think it should be something piddly, maybe Magda. Hmm. I'm excited. I think we're. I think we're in. I think we're gonna get some W's here. I think we are gonna fuck some people up. That's what I think. And he uh, credits it for his surviving. Kind of incredible shit. I think I'm actually going to bin the Pyrokinesis here. Well, or pitch. We're looking for mana for Karn, so I'm going to loot away one of these. We'll see if the opponent plays. I decided what to loot away. No, I should have waited. Ah, I should have been slightly more patient. We are indeed still burning him. Yeah. This game sucks. Yeah, right? What are we doing here? City traders might still bail me out. Although if we crack courier. Oh, they've got a removal spell. No, never mind. This game does suck. Oh, amazing, Maltese. Hell yeah, Deliani. Wow, they are... They fetched, and I was like, yeah, there's no way they have nothing to do on turn four. And <laughs> they like, get a stomping ground pass. I'm like, all right. Where's my Gata? Where's my Lelia? Where's my Bombardiers? Their hand might be all removal. It might be the Walkers, like, actually good. Is there a song or album you should start with? Oh, you're already there, friend. Yeah, Brett's Privateers, the Mary Ellen Carter, to the, to the most famous. But you can't, you can't really go wrong with Stan Rogers. Canadian icon for a reason. Best of, yeah, I have a, I have one of his best ofs on um on vinyl. It's pretty good. We stand, stand, yeah. To stand. Northwest Passage is up there, yeah. Do we down tick for a three three? Rattlinbog? Does he have a, Does he have a version of Rattlinbog? A little bit worried about through the breach. A while back, I would have been upticking, but with them at nine, I think we make a three-three, huh? Am I sick of the Unleash the Archers cover of Northwest Passage? No, it's on my Power Metal playlist. 
Sweet, they just flooded down. Hell yeah. Feels like a matchup for FTK. I do mean feels. That's a that's a vibes based board in right there. But then I'd have to cut something. Sounds like work. Yeah, fuck it. Fuck fuck you, FTK. Shouldn't be so old and junky. The trailer for Sasquatch Summer. What's that? What's that about? Am I pitching Skull Clamp? Feels wrong. Clamp and Gut are pretty sweet together. Not surprised to see Wayfinder. Oh, you got a land. Mountain, sure. It's like I can't even trade with my gut. Guess I'll turn two attack for ten. I don't know. Something to do, right? <laughs> Amazing. So they berserked as a removal spell on the gut, which meant that they had to berserk a double striker before damage. But, I mean, it's better than dying to gut, right? Sick play. Very funny, but, but sick play. Do we know what this disguised critter is? I don't remember him. Fugitive Codebreaker. Okay, cool. I guess they just flooded out twice. Man, I love this band. Yeah, in terms of like bands that are still around and touring, it might be like Meshuga and then Trampled by Turtles for me. <laughs> Do they tour nationwide? Uh, I think they they're around in the Midwest a lot because they're based out of the out of Minnesota. I'm sure they get the East and West Coast sometimes. Yeah, I uh, got saved my attack step here. You'll notice <laughs> I have six, double F six on accident there, so I'm now missing a point of damage because I'm going to flame slash that thing anyway. Ooh. Sounds like a hell of a show, Metronics. Ah, uh, fiddle dicks. I don't think I clamp here, right? Yeah, whatever. I let us garner it's good. Fuck. Guess I should have just double three dropped here, huh? Got greedy.
such a great line. All right, chat poll. Do you sack this bull man courier or do you not? <laughs> There's got to be another point of damage under there, right? There's got to be. Currently, the shield rate is answered, you know? <laughs> damage on the stack first, then sack. Genius. You gotta? I definitely don't gotta. That's, that's not true. It seems more fun, though, right? Got so many cards. Uh. Uh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't. I don't know. Ah. <laughs> So I don't think we have 12 damage here. I think we have nine damage here. Did we just hack over here to the bombardment? It's not in play for its ability to work. I have not big dumb investor. Are they fun? Skull clamp on the Oyer? Yeah, maybe. I mean, this would have happened and then I wouldn't get to draw two cards. That fucking shield rid, huh? Making my Wheel of Fortune look stupid. Silly opponent. Chandra can't kill a shield rid. It's got five toughness. Kind of a sweet game. How many bird decks can beat shield rid twice? I want a zealous conscripts that shield rid so bad. I think this track has good uh, days and days vibes. I have been scolded. Let's listen to another drinking song. Ooh, short on mana, hum. I'm so glad they didn't blow up a mountain here. Holy shit. Come on, mana, come on. I think I should have printed fire, maybe. Hmm. 
Ha ha! Hey Noah, thanks for the five dollar donation. With the oh, you're in play. Epic your deals four damage when it comes into play. We'll see. A counter spell? What? All right, mana drain mana is a little scary, but they're done to four cards now. Yeah, lingering souls in the bin. That's cute. All right, let's see what Noah wants to listen to. Apparently, Noah's local radio plays this every Friday at 5 p.m. This is Happy Boy by Beat Farmers. I snagged my Oyer. So many hubbas. I should be holding onto a land for. Oh shit, they resolved. Needs more hubbas, I think. Kitten, hull breached. Should have known that was going to happen. I think if they have hull breacher and shielded, I should probably consider cutting wheel. It was kind of sick, this game. Oh, they are getting in. See, I guess Zealous off the top. We were seven damage. That'd be pretty good. I suppose. Hey, Pony, thanks for the 200 bets. Glad you've been enjoying it. I like the Magda too. Something to get down early. Could help me double spell maybe. I need some critters, huh? And fuck a stern scolding, huh? And the mana drain this and cast grief off of it, and I'm dead. <laughs> yeah, okay, cool. At least Pyromancer can be flashback from the graveyard. Maybe that'll be good. Get back Pyromancer, get those 1-1s, one clamp them up, draw some cards. Could do worth some some. Well, that's right about the grief, huh?
Using my double burn spell to answer a not shield rid feels pretty bad. Maybe they're, they're out of stuff. Maybe the gut just wins. What are, what are the odds that that happens? Mm, let's skip on to this track, I suppose. This little foot stomper. Yeah, terrified of shielded, terrified of sh the hull breacher here. That one I am not afraid of. I wonder if we do more damage on a on average by clamping before we attack here. All right, I'm gonna regret that. Cause now we're doing two instead of four, but you know, whatever. Colonnade getting in again. You think they have a counter this time? Hmm. So we can take one more ping from the mana vault and then we gotta start untapping it. So the colony by itself is not lethal, and we are repping lethal. Opponent needs a good one here, hum. Pain life for probe. Sick. Cool. <laughs> I mean, uh, I, I knew we were going to win the whole time. Maybe three. I don't know. I've been day drinking, you see. The menu on the drinks. Uh, I had a blue moon with dinner. And otherwise, I've been drinking uh, Alarm du Pelerin. It's a Calvados, which is an apple brandy from France. And then I drank half this bottle of uh, Kasasha. I think my pronunciation of it gets worse every time. But very tasty stuff. Uh, Brazilian spirit made from sugarcane juice as opposed to rum, which is made from sugarcane molasses. 
Are we drunk yet? Um, tipsy, I would say. Maybe drunk's accurate. Oh shit, we can uptick for mana and play the gut too. Right on that border. I mean, that misty gray area where I would probably pass that ABC's backwards test, but not, but not a breathalyzer. <laughs> Tastes roastier to you than rum? Yeah, roasty is a good word for it. I was saying that it was like somewhere in between rum and brandy, or at least the one that I'm trying here. Been real pleasant. Ooh. Oh, your plus bombardment. Could be sick. Yeah, right, Secunder? I was very tempted to fire Blast Face. I thought about it. I thought about it so hard. <laughs> and then I thought about, like, not wheeling so I could keep the fire blast. And then I finally, finally, sadly played it. I thought about ditching the bombardment, too, so I'd have some mana to play stuff post wheel. Mana Crypt. That's an exciting one to play out. Hopefully this doesn't mean upheaval, huh? How have the red deck wins decks performed in general? Pretty good. A lot of like how good your red deck wins deck is depends on like the amount of fast mana you have, and then um, you know if you get the the good cards, <laughs> the cards that win real well. Is this a blister for four? It is not. It is an upheaval. <laughs> See, now I wish I'd fire blasted and maybe I'd eight instead of 12. We lost our mana ball. We sacked it to the gut. Getting very punished for my wheel. Well, we're replaying the mana crypt. Do we keep bombardment here? I think we're bidding Season Pyromancer for sure. Yeah, Chromox would be a sick rip for sure. For sure. Oh, we made them discard some good ones. The Bendurza and stuff. Okay, I don't feel as bad. Into game. Oh, shut up. Hey, snap, snap, snap. Thanks for the 34 months. The longest commitment of your life. Cheers to that. How close are we to lethal? Uh, assuming they don't have anything, a mana crypt flip. They do have eight cards in hand though. All right, opponent, you're gonna get to draw a card. No fear, no fear. I'm 
one fear, yeah. Opponent's got a lot of counter magic up, huh? Um, or mana, to pass with seven mana here. So I like multiple spelling here. Make sure I don't get like time walked by a counter. Hey Birdo, thanks the sub, thanks the thirteen months. It's tutor for coveted jewel. Well, whatever they're gonna do, it seems like, it seems like they've got the the stuff to do at home. Um, I think the mana crypt is pretty much all I've got going for me here. I guess the resolve bombardment something. Opponent in the tank. They know about this death death Creatures champion, so they're trying to map out not just their turn but my turn as well. Maybe just their turn, making sure they have the win. Well, that Shellhawk is very turned on. Gonna have to send that Shellhawk home. I think just burn spells would be best for me here. Stuff that's easy to slip in under counter magic. Fire Blast, Lightning Bolt, that sort of deal. It's tempting. They return balance to hand. But it has to be from among the milled cards, so that was their only option. The D machine in the tank. What to name for Mana Crypt? <laughs> well, they named correctly. Is this another upheaval? Alright, upheaval number two. They don't have to replay the Mana Crypt this time. Alright, now time to cast that balance. Eight mana. Play the Jeweled again. I mean... They might have Courser in there, huh? One of the draw seven or something. Yeah, I don't think they're worried about decking. They did just reset with only a Sol Ring and an Island. Oh, the upheaval is exiled. Chrome Mark's off the top for me? They just have to play an artifact here. I guess I was supposed to run out of hanger back, huh? So I could block. I was hoping for fire confluence. Uh well that game sucked. <laughs> um Yeah, Fire Confluence looks insane. Do I got wheel after all that? I guess. Kind of hate it. Kind of hate cutting it. Oh, Revoker. Revoker in. Name Soul Ring or whatever. This game might be too slow for the matchup. I kept it because it's powerful. Like, Bombardment and uh, Oyer is really good together. And Fire Confluence is going to be insane if I actually get to cast it. Down to the bone. Not shocking. Interesting. Well, now we're in a spot where we just need that fourth land, huh? We can start playing our gas game. We path in. Fourth land acquired.
Hmm. Oh, I meant to play the Oyer. And then I could mana ball in the card next turn. Fuck. Well, those cards are good. <laughs> it specifically, I wanted to play Oyer instead because the Mana Vault could play the Karn. I don't think there's a good chance that the Oyer would actually like get to attack and land and do damage and stuff, but that is why I preferred that order. Uh, that's not the highest damage play, Warcrow. Ideally, damage-wise, we would hit a land. Downtick Karn for a Season Pyromancer. Monstrous Rage, the Oyer, making it 7. And then the Season Pyromancer, in each of its tokens, would sack for 7 damage. So that would be 21 damage before damage. Before the, the 7 I would hit for from Oyer. So it would be like 28 damage total. Do we let this get bounced? I guess. Come on, Pleasant. I suppose I should have attacked first. But it's awkward, right, when you have this monstrous rage. You want to see if this resolves before you rage up to him. Feels like a either a draw seven or an upheaval turn for the opponent if they're bouncing oh you're there too we haven't we haven't gotten any pressure in right we haven't connected with anything it's not where we want to be in this matchup just like chilling on turn infinity Yeah, people into draw seven is pretty sweet. Shuffle away the opponent's board presence. Ideally, a fast aggro deck should be like what they're afraid of, but we just like haven't actually landed anything. <laughs> Which is pretty awkward, you know. We just haven't had pressure. And now it's turn seven, and they're at nineteen. Not doing a very good job of being the mono red deck over here. Could have been worse balance.
Numa value root wallet. Um, hey, windmill had things to the sub these under 29 months. Yeah, but we started in the day ages. And as someone has pointed out, it is day someplace. It's been pretty good. Got a lot of W's with the old mono red. Kind of feels like the opponent doesn't have anything, doesn't it? That fucking card again. Discard Iguana. The Iguana got exiled to Inti last turn. I never had a chance to discard it. You were making a bad joke? Yeah, that's not allowed. I don't know why. I don't know why people think bad jokes are allowed around here, but it is a strictly no joke stream. Why not sack the token there for one damage? Because if I connect, then I can clear their construct, which, as we've seen from their deck, can become much larger than a 2 2. Like, say, you know, they're playing out artifacts, right? So killing it while well, it's 2 2 with bombardment and damage and stuff is much easier. It was much larger. Kind of feels like an upheaval again. At least the Revoker on the Mana Vault. Nice them a little bit of mana, I guess. But then they can just replay it. And then I guess I'll keep into here. Oh. <laughs> Fair enough, Bean. And then I let them have the extra three mana anyway. Like an idiot. Whoopsie doodle. Mmm. No shot the three mana matters. I kind of already did, right? Let them under delve a bit. Maybe you, dude. We probably have a uh, different definitions of drunk too. Ah, point at nine here. It was looking like we were actually applying good pressure there for a second. And then the upheaval chewed through that balance. Taking way too long to win. They only have like five minutes on the clock too. They can't do like another one of these if we get to game three. The issue is that they're like probably favored to prevent us from getting there, right? Seed shark, sure. Plus oust, okay. The mana vault is tapped now. Taco Bell delivery drunk. Uh, I have already consumed much Taco Bell. Five mana. This is a new card. Bad sign. On the uptake, they can make the incubator a 5-5. Five, five. They're at 8.
Well, that one would have been sick with a bombardment, Tom. Um... <sighs> if I'd used the mana vault, I think I could have gotten the figure down. And then if they lost the mana crypt flip, I'd have lethal here. But I didn't do the mana vault. I missed it. Oh, they're seeing if the Mana Crypt flip, if they win the flip before they decide whether they're going to untap the Mana Vault, I see. That's smart. Stacking their triggers appropriately. They did lose. So if I'd done the Mana Vault line on my side, I would have the win here. We'd go to game three with them having less than four minutes on the clock. It Wouldn't that be groovy? Opponent's drawing with Teferi. The Teferi could have downticked to answer something, so it's, you know, it's important. Serving in for seven. And yeah, they didn't tuck Bombardment or the Mana Crypt. I thought they were going to tuck something there. I mean, they could, like, swords their own creature or something. I don't know. I think they need multiple things here. Sweet. To game three we go. They have less than three minutes. That seems good for me, right? I wonder if I just don't have the time for Zealous Conscripts. I'm gonna cut it for Magda here. Win in under three minutes deck. They could if they just got like turn one Seed Shark, but I guess Pyrokinesis just hedges against that. Yeah, they're just scooping. Cool. That's like our third trophy of the day or something. Well, it's not bad. Not bad at all. I am gonna go grab another burrito. And I'll be back in a few minutes. I'm going to run a three-minute ad break while I...